Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well and welcome to another BBL Fantasy Match Preview. Uh, much awaited preview for Nikhil Bhai and I'll head straight over to him to tell you his views on the tournament till now. Jai <laughs> Mataji. Yes, that is a that is a small sum up, the big sum up coming up in some time from now. This is going to be for the Sixers versus Renegades and some stars coming in for this one. Martin Guptill, Sean Marsh, Kane Richardson are guys that you'll see back for the Renegades. But uh, don't expect any stability in terms of bowling changes, mm-hmm. batting orders, even though there are some stars coming back in. Absolutely. Uh, there are two things here. Very often we are uh, told, okay, why do you suggest uh, mini jails or not small leagues much? Well, the simple reason is if the teams are doing experiments and the teams are happy to be flexible, you should not lose because the teams are going to do that. Uh, I'll give just two simple examples. Is if you know there is due, you should not bowl your spinners. But Brisbane Heat, despite getting such a big stand, they gave the power surge to Mitchell, uh, to Stepson, and he. Matt Geeks hit him for 20 plus runs and he got a 50. I don't remember the last time Matt Geeks got so many runs. I don't remember the last time he batted for more than 10 overs. So that is, it is possible, it can happen. So, and again, if you have opponent in Geeks, then you would have still won. But in your team, McAndrew will definitely be in your team. In your team, they will be in your bowling. Because Chris Green has bowling. Usman Kadir bowled the 19th over. So these are all the things that Normal humans can't predict. If you are able to predict and visualize ke nahin, jaisa main soch raun, waisi game hogi, then I will suggest you to play Grand Leagues in this league. Otherwise, I think for most of the games going ahead, I think mini jails are the best way to go because the risk level is very high because the quality of batting is downright terrible. And we have not even touched the bit about fielding. Aap dekho, har match mein, jo banda match jita ra hai, Uske ek cast to drop hua hai, almost like it's like a given. Uh, Moses indicates Joe match jita ke gaye, us may be uh, a stumping miss with it. Uske pele wale match may be catch drop. Te. Joe Clark to century when I was dropped on one, I think by Shadab Khan. Yeah. So the thing is, if you're playing small league, then these mistakes can cost you big. And that is the reason why we suggest mini jail so that if the game is not going to be able to do at least you are able to get something back. Kyunki, आप फिर भी रिस्क ले पाओगे फॉर्म प्लेयर के साथ भी अगर आप आई जस्ट ऐड टू द एग्जांपल द सेकंड एग्जांपल ऑफ डैनियल सैम्स नाउ टुडे डैनियल सैम्स ओनली बोल्ड इन द लास्ट लास्ट सेट ऑफ 10 ओवर्स एंड ही टुक टू विकेट्स एंड दैट टू केम इन वन ओवर हैड दैट नॉट कम आई डोंट नो व्हाट वुड एंड हैड दैट नॉट कम आई हैव नो क्लू व्हाट वुड हैव हैपेंड सो ही बोल्ड एट द डेथ व्हिच इज फाइन बट दैट इज द रिस्क दैट इट्स गोइंग इवन विद द मोस्ट सिलेक्टेड प्लेयर्स Michael Nasser, when you least expect him to, he took four wickets in a Iqdam Faltu ki game. <laughs> and, uh, and now when they, you expectedly hope to <laughs> better conditions honge for the bowling, for seamers, no you saw ball. both teams uh, you know, trying to bowl spin more. So that is the thing which is stopping us and not making us invest heavily. But again, see, the, everything, every league is differently for different people. If you are able to visualize better, if you think that I have confidence, as I am thinking about the game, then please go ahead and play small leagues and make changes in the base team also. There is no rule that you have to follow any one person. So, which is why we always say, back your visualization and hopefully we get better games because this is still just the start of the day. There is a long way to go. Yes, so that sum up should also tell you the type of game, the risk level that we're expecting and the type of leagues that we are going to be playing for this game. And uh, because we're able to pick just two battles on fan to play, we are going to extract that also totally. We'll tell you how when we get to the base team. But first up, let's just discuss what we expect from the venue. So this one's at the SCG and we've seen a few games here already and we didn't we saw what we expected. So at least in terms of the conditions, there was some predictability with it being slow and with it helping spin quite a bit. So even though teams wanted to chase, it was not as easy to chase as it was put out to be. It required an exceptional performance. Moments from otherwise, I don't think they would have got over the line, and it also required a missed dumping. So, yes, I think spin to win 
or at least variations to win can be the key in this game. Nikhil, by any other thoughts, anything you would like to add in this section? No, I think at अगर आप देखिए पूरे रिव्यूल में अक्रॉस वेन्यूज काफी कम ऐसे जगह है जहाँ पे बैटिंग इतनी इजी रहेगी. Apart from the hmm. one game that I think Perth played with uh, Stars, जहाँ पे इधम टाइनी बाउंड्रीज थी एंड दे हैड फन. Otherwise, you've seen it's been hard work for most batters. So I think that uh, it just tells you how the games have gone. Games have gone. Even the World Cup, they saw the same thing in Sydney. Okay, there hmm. was help for the bowlers right through the game. So you don't go out from the game, but of course you have to take your chances. Yes, so let's take our chances in our base team for this one. And without wasting any further time, let's get to the team for this game. In the keeping section, Sam Harper is not going to be available. We have gone with Josh Filippi. Peter Anscombe has been drafted into the squad. If you're interested, you can try him out. I'll not say more than that on this on this pitch and these conditions. And then in the batting section, we have gone with Aaron Finch, James Vince, and Sean Marsh. And uh, Sean Marsh coming back from an injury, a long layoff. So don't be surprised if in the final team Sean Marsh or the third batter does not feature and we go for the extra bowler. Who will be that bowler? I'll reveal to you in some time. But Nikhil, why any other temptations towards any other batsman, or you want to save them for the grand leagues? And I go to anyways, which we'll do with the grand league picks. But uh, just two things: Peter Hanscom, traditionally better player of spin. So if you are again, I am going to help you with visualization now, going forward in most of the games. If you feel that wickets will fall in, of course, important to see where he bats in that uh, Melbourne uh, top order. So, if you think that wickets will fall and Peter Hanscom will be able to counter spin well, because hmm. he should be able to, so you can play with him on Twitter. Sean Marsh, break after the break, he, could, he would either hit a 50 or get out very early. To whom, he will tell you a little bit later. But that is the logic why we have still stuck with Sean Marsh, because if it's a batting deck slightly, And they are batting first. I think Sean Marsh could make a very good differential captain also, but it's going to be fraught with risk. Let's be very honest. So uh, that is that. And other batters, you know, Henry Kes came good, but he needed luck. Still terribly out of touch. But these are the guys who do well suddenly out of nowhere. Like Ashton Turner, we we thankfully expected him to do that in the chase. I think is also someone who chase me, kabi kabi. ट्रिकी गेम्स निकाल देता है तो जो काम मोइजिस ने किया वो सिल भी कर सकते हैं कभी-कभी तो दैट इज द वे टू थिंक अबाउट दीस गाइस एंड देन यू कैन मेक योर डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशंस अकॉर्डिंगली तो या दैट इज सेल्क विल टेक टू टू थ्री कैचेस एवरी गेम टू दैट दैट डू नॉट डू नॉट फॉरगेट दैट दैट्स वेरी हैंडी सो यस दैट इज द बैटिंग सेक्शन इन द ऑलराउंडर्स वी हैव गॉन शॉन एबिट एंड हेडन कर आई डोंट थिंक यू विल पॉन्डर ऑन टू मेनी अदर चॉइसेस या निक मैडिनसन एक्स Sixers home boy, so maybe that is a point of consideration. But uh, his consistency is back, so I don't. Or okay, uh, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Nick Maddinson, uh, totally your choice. We feel he'll come off in a chase. Daniel Christian bowled two overs in the last game, but that was purely because Abbott was very expensive. Navid was decently expensive and did not seem to find his line or length. We expect expect Navid no luck to come back in for this one, especially because he's in the squad. So yes, you're pondering with Christian only if you feel like uh, one of the bowlers is going to have a yes. bad day. And in the bowlers, we have gone Akil Hussain, who should love these conditions. Thomas Rogers, Mujibur Rahman, again, who should enjoy these conditions. Navin Ullak, who we are expecting for to be drafted in. Stephen O'Keefe is probably injured. They are going to assess him on the morning of the game, so not to show on his availability, but he's in the squad. And Kane Richardson, who's back in the team. Who again, with his variation, should have a good outing on such a track. Absolutely, I think most of your common picks are done in terms of the bowlers. These are all such bowlers try to raise at least three more to add. Four not added, and one player who is grinding will bowling will be added. So six bowlers will be added. You have here. Mandelson's one point is that see now he is somebody who is taking a lot of risk up top. So. If you're taking the new ball, new ball bowlers from uh, Sydney, and you feel that they'll be able to keep him quiet, then you can take the risk and drop him. He should not bowl ideally so far, but again, we don't know. This is BBL. So, that is a risk you can take. If you think that Sydney will start his career soon, but in bowling, as we have said, all bases are covered. Abbott's three-four wicket hole is left. 
so that hasn't come yet. So and same is again with Navid, and also with Kendi Jackson. So this is the game of death bowling junk wickets. Let's see who gets them or neither gets them. That is also possible. Yes, let's see if those wickets come or not, and let's head over to the Grand Leagues to see who we can really pick. So, two Grand League picks for me, and two Grand League picks again, like always, were very likely to feature in my mini GL team. Also, make no mistake, I might share multiple teams for this game, looking yeah. at the kind of choices that we have because we have quite a few. My first Grand League pick is Jackson Bird from the Sixers. Now, you have Finch. Madison, Sean Marsh, Martin Guptill. None of these players are known for playing the swing bowling too well. So I think Jackson Bird can be strongly in the game in that regard. But that it's a very condition-based pick. If we feel like there will be some help, if you feel like it's going to be a slow track and it's not going to move at all, then they can totally feast on him. Because while they don't play swing well, they play medium pace very well. So yeah. that's sort of a double-edged sword. And hence my second pick is Martin Guptill. <laughs> who I feel will be able to stick through even if there's some swing and Madison and the rest fall from the other end and Martin Guptill sticks through and makes good use of the short square boundaries because he's good at doing that. So, hence Martin Guptill is my other choice and don't be surprised. At least one of these two should be in my mini GL team tomorrow. And, this yes, the most, <laughs> and the most likely scapegoat is going to be Sean Marsh. I'll say that also. <laughs> This is the summary of BBA. Okay, you can think the one way and think the exact opposite way and expect both of them to happen in the same game. So, yes, uh, yeah, see, that is what it is. Again, uh, no jokes there. See, it's very important to realize what games work for you and then play only those. Invest in them more or less. Just say your confidence level. So, that's it. I'm going with pick. I'm going with two batters again. Uh change a little bit. Uh, first is John Wells. Now, again, if the scenario is if I'm expecting early wickets, so I think John Wells should be able to contribute Jackson very well. Bird. Uh, so, again, if he's one condition, he doesn't have to leave the ball on the stumps. If he does that, then I don't think anybody in the world can save, uh, <laughs> save that because I think remember that Nessa wicket too well. So, John Wells hopefully gets a good time out in the middle and he does that. Second pick is, I think, somebody who should be back in form. Uh, no left arm threat in the in the opponent. Part of the base team, George Philippi. Chase Curry here against Sydney Sixers. So I think this should be the game where he does decently. And because we are expecting wickets, so he is a keeper. So you can get catches from points. So if you are a bowler captain, Philippi could be a handy vice captain to try out. And if you want to go to Jai Mata, then go with Nick Madison in the chase. Sir, Sean Marsh bowls left arm pace. <laughs> Don't forget. Sean Marsh, so hey, look, the rule, the unsaid rule in BBL is whoever comes new, you should definitely try them in one of your uh, teams because they are coming for a very specific reason. Be it uh, Moody who uh, got in the last game for Renegades and took three. So that is how teams are starting to work out. So, uh, and they are giving them enough time. Monday, they also ended up taking a wicket. So, one wicket wicket to Lee. Better than your main bowler not bowling full quota or not taking enough wickets. So, Joby Naya Ata, Belkul, you know, Grand League Metro, which is why we recommend mini jets. But if you are very sure, you can invest accordingly. Choice Paisa Apka, Choice Apki. Yes, absolutely. So, that wraps up quite an elaborate review. <laughs> ensure that you watch the full thing. There are a lot of positive wisdom that I got to hear from him today. So, ensure <laughs> that if you've not seen the video and skipped to the team part, ensure you go back, watch the full preview, and tell us in the comments who your man of the match or who your Grand League picks from both the teams are going to be. And have a good game. All the good luck to you, and see you all again tomorrow. See you very soon. Happy winnings. Good luck.